Every single person should have a steady permanent source of income. You would agree with me because you know how hard it is to maintain life in America without financial support, a steady source of income. However, this channel is about side gigs and how to make money online. But in this video, I wanted to focus on financial apps that will help you make money online. I wanted to focus on that secondary or that third, fourth, even fifth source of income in this video. And hey, small amounts of income, the power of compound interest goes a long way in paying off even the smallest of bills to help in the smallest of financial situations. We are all technically developed in this world so these apps are easy for anybody who is technically inclined to be able to grasp them and make some money. Listen, this is a fast one. I want you to strap up, buckle up because we're going to be going quick, don't blink and we are getting started right now. Number one is Fiverr. Now this is considered one of the largest online marketplace for individuals or companies to go find freelancers that will suit their needs. This is considered micro tasks on the site where you can do relatively quick or a small one off tasks which are generally called gigs. Now even though the name Fiverr originally came from the $5 stamp cost, I've seen gigs on Fiverr go anywhere from $5 to $900. $50, $1,000, depending on your skill, depending on the level of expertise that you bring. So if you edit videos, if you edit YouTube videos, if you edit podcasts, if you do voiceovers, if you can edit anything, if you can run social media, you definitely need to download Fiverr because your service is needed. You can make some money on Fiverr definitely check it out. And number two is Declutter. Now Declutter is a buyback service. And what Declutter does is they give you a quote for used electronic devices. As long as it's in a good condition or an acceptable value and meets a certain criteria, Declutter will buy it back from you and the process is made super, super easy and simple. You don't have to go through the hassle of taking pictures, writing the description and putting it up on marketplaces like Facebook Marketplace. Declutter makes that process super simple and takes that all the way out of the picture. Phones, tablets, smart watches, cameras, earphones, airpods and things like that are all electronics that Declutter can buy back. Unlike Facebook Marketplace or Amazon and eBay for example, you do not have to wait for somebody to buy. You don't have to wait for somebody to see your offer or your listing and contact you. As long as the criteria is met, Declutter will buy from you and that is it. You are guaranteed a sale because they meet the criteria. And there's no need for you to do separate transactions. If you have multiple things, you can sell them all in one transaction, put them all in the same box and complete one easy transaction so definitely check out the clutter if you got some gadgets sitting around to make some extra money number three is upwork i personally have used upwork and still am on upwork and what upwork is it's a marketplace for freelancers especially in the graphic design field especially in the writing field this site helps companies find professional freelancers communicate and offer them gigs in exchange for compensation if you are a person working in a new field where there's writing where there is uh, it you definitely want to take advantage of Upwork because you can build experience and that's experience that you can put on a resume to scale up in your job that's experience that you can put on your resume to scale up and get more gigs and charge even more the one downside about Upwork is it's full of people who are willing to take gigs for a lower pay so there is that competition but there's a ton of potential here for you to gain experiences especially if you are looking to break into a medium if you're looking to break into a field so definitely check out Upwork if you want to get paid for freelance gigs much like Fiverr. And number four is Airbnb as an air bed and breakfast. And this is a service that lets property owners rent out their spaces to travelers or businesses. So you can rent a private room, you can rent a space and share with your friends or family, or you can rent a property for yourself. Now, whether you own an air bed and breakfast or vacation rental property, your reservation systems can be integrated straight into the Airbnb app. Now, the app is awesome because it sings content, it sings availability, it also sings rates so that way you don't have to take care of that yourself it does it all for you so you manage all your content on the airbnb app plus booking on the airbnb app flows right into the engine on the app and with acquisitions as low as three percent booking on airbnb is generally lower than every other competition app out there airbnb also absorbs all the credit card processing fees so if you have office space if you have a bedroom if you have a whole house if you have property that you're willing to rent out you definitely should be jumping on airbnb to try and streamline this process 
it so you can make money using the Airbnb app. And number five is eBay. Now eBay is extremely popular for online merchants to use to sell products to customers on their channels and it's completely free to start or open an eBay account. You can opt to sell products on eBay as well as buy products on eBay. And with a seller's account, there are fees associated with it, for example, listing fees. And the costs vary from what you list on eBay, meaning the product that you sell on eBay, as well as how long the product has been listed on eBay. All it takes to be successful on eBay is for you to show that you are trustworthy. Now we know there are scammers on eBay especially, but if you can prove that you're trustworthy, especially if you sell sneakers, if you can deliver those sneakers and deliver real quality sneakers, you can be really, really successful on eBay, especially through word of mouth. People buy from you, you trustworthy, they're going to recommend more and more people to you. E-commerce business, you definitely should be looking at eBay or Shopify. And number six is Task Rabbit. People looking to make some solid money on the side, you definitely want to check out Task Rabbit. But before you run on errands or before you look to assembling IKEA furniture, there are some things you definitely want to consider when it comes to Task Rabbit. Task Rabbit is an odd job service that operates in over 60 cities in the United States. What they do is they connect taskers, people they call taskers to gigs like, like I said, assembly and IKEA furniture or running simple errands for people who otherwise don't want to or can't. As a tasker, you set your own rate depending on the job and you can also accept tips. Popular jobs on TaskRabbit include setting up furniture, being a handyman, running errands, taking somebody somewhere that they don't have a right to. To be eligible to work on TaskRabbit or to use the app, you have to be at least 18 years or older, have a checking account, a credit card, and a smartphone. And you also have to pass a background check and have valid IDs. You will need to use the TaskRabbit app to create an account and go through the verification process. And you'll have to provide basic information about yourself, go through the process to set up your payment method and how you're going to be receiving your pay, and take your skills to the next level in earning money from doing handyman jobs, art jobs, or running errands. And number seven is Etsy. Etsy is the online marketplace where artists and crafters can sell their goods online. Etsy is primarily associated with people who make crafts, toys, handmade goods, collectibles, vintage vintage furniture, jewelry, holiday items, clothes. But if you have website templates, I have seen website templates, for example, being sold on Etsy. Unlike Amazon and Walmart, everything sold on Etsy is made, handmade by professional, actually made by people and sold on the website. There are tons and tons of videos on YouTube, this here platform on setting up and starting an Etsy shop. And I implore you to definitely check those out because especially during the pandemic, people were making and are still making a killing on Etsy. So definitely, if you are gifted in any of these crafts, definitely, definitely create an Etsy shop, download the app and start getting paid. Now, number eight is Uber and Lyft. Every time I go to the airport, or every time I'm coming home from a flight, I definitely check both Uber and Lyft and whichever is cheaper, that's what I'm taking to go or come back from the airport. I don't bother family members or friends anymore to take me off, bring me back from the airport, especially if it's Dallas airport, because we know nobody wants to drive a trillion miles if you live in the DMV to drop or pick somebody up from Dallas airport. Everybody pretty much knows what Uber and Lyft is. So if you have a vehicle that qualifies, definitely check out Uber and Lyft. If you have the time, you could chop off two hours when you come back from work. If you want to work inside as a side gig, it's supposed to just watching TV, go out, hit a few runs, hit a few clients and make some extra cash. On the weekends as well, you can go out for two hours, hit a few runs, hit a few clients and make a few bucks. Three to five or seven hours a week, it's no telling you can make as little as $300 and scale that up. It adds up. It can pay a phone bill. That's definitely a side gig. Uber or Lyft. Check those out. Download the app. Number nine is DoorDash. What DoorDash is, it's a curious site or app that lets people get services on demand. If you've never heard of DoorDash, that's all right. People are always in the mood for a particular dish. They always have a taste for something and sometimes don't want to go to the local store to get it. And so DoorDash is a solution. People go online on the DoorDash app. They order. You as a Dash to pick it up, deliver it, and get paid for it. That's a Dasher. DoorDash, since its inception, has reached the value of an incredible 1.4 billion in my last time of conducting this research and this is pretty good for a new business especially one that was started by three dudes in college who were just college roommates or buddies that were trying to just find a solution for themselves and their immediate surrounding much like previously stated somebody needs food somebody's lazy or just can't go get it and so they need a dash if you download the DoorDash app you can become a dash if you have a vehicle or a bike depending on where you stay you can pick up that food deliver it and get paid on top of that and make some pretty good tips if you've made it this far in the video i definitely want to thank you and ask you to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you get updates every time i drop
drop a new video. We got a couple more to go. And number 10 is Postmates. Kind of like DoorDash, Postmates is for food delivery. But the cool thing about Postmates is that though it is mainly a food delivery site right now or app right now, their vision or their goal is to also deliver different types of items. And they're well close to that goal. So besides takeout, you can get delivery from certain grocery stores, from pharmacies, liquor stores, and even electronics, depending on where you live and which nearby stores are available and participating. Now between DoorDash and Postmates, the cash you can make just really depends on your availability, what your schedule is, where you live, and also the tips that people give you. I have heard reviews on Postmates, particularly on the tips and just the rates in which the company takes out of the dash and so the Postmates people do on the Postmates. So that really is up to you if you try it out and let us know in the comments what your experience is if you are doing Postmates. Number 11 is Robin Hood. Now during the height of the pandemic, when I had nothing, absolutely nothing to do, work was shut down, a lot of stuff was shut down. I really took a dive into trading Forex, trading stocks, trading options, and also trading ETFs and mutual funds. Now I would say in the onset, I am not a financial advisor. You definitely should get one if you can, or talk to your tax guy, talk to your bank, talk to somebody other than me. I'm not a financial advisor, but Robin Hood was and is one of those platforms that you can make some serious money trading options, for example. These days, I myself, I have dived deep into trading options sometimes, but mostly trading index funds as well as some long-term stocks. While getting rich on an investment app like Robin Hood is easy, it can also be risky because you can lose it like that. You can make some serious money on Robin Hood trading options, like I said, and you definitely want to explore some videos on this website, YouTube, on how to trade stocks, how to trade options. There's people out there, I personally know some, Options Snipers. Options Snipers on Instagram is their name that are killing the game right now and helping tons and tons of black men like myself make some good money trading options. So if you download the Robin Hood app today, you can start making money trading stocks with free stocks if somebody refers you and it's definitely a way to make money in the stock market. So check it out, Robin Hood. I am not advocating personally for the Robin Hood app. It is just the easiest and most user-friendly app, especially when it comes to trading options. There are plenty of other apps out there. I personally recommend Fidelity, but Robin Hood, if you are considering doing options, it's just one that's cleaner and easier to use and understand. Like I said, we're zipping by this and number 12 is Instacart. Instacart operates in the United States and Canada and it's a service that promises same day delivery of groceries from Instacart shoppers. I personally did Instacart in the height of the pandemic for about a couple of weeks and if you are somebody who loves shopping, you definitely will excel and thrive with Instacart. The sign up process is fairly simple. You should start by visiting the Instacart website where you will sign up for being a full service shopper or an in-store shopper. So you receiving orders from your phone going in the store and shopping and taking it to the customer or shopping in store and gathering everything for the customer to come and pick it up once you have your account with instacart you can set up your own schedule weekly or by the day however you want to set up your schedule and the one thing to note is that instacart is first come first serve so if i'm on the app and i receive an order and i grab it first then the next person lost in that order but pretty much depending on where you live you can get orders as much as seven three five even ten a day when i was doing it i did an average of five orders on the weekends and made some pretty good cash so definitely check out instacart it's a way to make extra cash number 13 is urban cities this is one i personally have not heard of before until i was doing this research now what urban cities do is they make finding babysitters or nannies in your community in your zip code easy. This service also connects you with people in your community that need child care. It also helps you vet the families or the people that you'll be working with so you feel safe and also helps match your schedules. That way it's easy for you to communicate and do your work. Whether you live in San Francisco, Austin, DC, or Colorado, finding work or nanny on urban cities is fairly easy. Caregivers get paid for job bookings via cash or credit card and the payment method is determined by their family or the care sick of when they do the booking. So for each booking, the family either pays you in cash or check or via Zelle or credit card. At the end of the day, when your job is done or your interview's job, the family pays you and it's complete. You get paid for taking care of the baby or providing some sort of childcare or care 
child care or child help. Now number 14 is Swag Bucks. Now Swag Bucks doesn't pay much, but it offers you the opportunity to get paid for odd jobs as well as get paid for doing things like taking surveys, watching videos, playing games, and more. While it doesn't pay as much as the other hustles that we just talked about, Swag Job really is just an easy way for you to get paid for doing easy things like watching videos and taking surveys or playing video games. Getting started is simple and doesn't require any payment info. It doesn't require much. You just need to download the Swag Bucks app and the daily features in the app helps users figure out different ways by which they can earn money using the Swag Bucks app. And we made it to the last one, number 15, which is Rakuten. Now Rakuten is pretty much one of the top money making apps out there for different number of retailers for cash back, uh, invite signups and referrals. Although you have to spend money to make money on Rakuten, the app lets you make money on things that you otherwise would have spent money on anyway. So after registering, users can browse cashback offers from sites like Target, Best Buy, Kohl's. And so to receive cashback, you simply click on a retailer from the app and place your order. Or you can also receive cashback by going into the store. But before you complete your purchase, connect your card to the app and complete your purchase that way. Cashback rates vary by retailer and they go anywhere from 1% all the way to 40%. It just depends on who the retailer is. But you can browse available cashback by brands and different retailers out there to make money shopping on Rakuten as well as make money referring people to use Rakuten to shop. So there it is, 15 different apps that I researched for you by which you can make money online it's an incredible, incredible opportunity. I definitely hope you will take advantage of one of these. If you aren't, if you are, let us know which one down in the comments below. Remember the progressive factor for this only depends on you using it. Somebody once said, start now and then perfect later. And I wholeheartedly agree with that statement. If you enjoy this kind of content, definitely subscribe, hit the bell notification. I got updates on videos like this every week. I would really, really appreciate y'all checking this video, especially if you made it to the end. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.